Here he comes. Who's he? He's the leader. He's the chief. Oh. Why didn't you say so? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Chiefs Chat. Here it comes. On AFN Indrilic. You know who I am? In the Air Force, I do public health, so four E's so working in the med group. Uh, but right now, and for the past four and a half, five months, I've had the pleasure of being Chief Daniel's executive assistant. That entails managing Chief's calendar, so make sure, one, he knows where he's going that day. Uh, make sure people to show up to see him that day. Uh, and then additionally, my favorite part is uh, running the awards program. So whether that's quarterly and annual awards or the uh, larger than life award that we do monthly. What is one piece of advice you give someone else taking your job? Be open-minded. Uh, I, I, I come to work every single day. Uh, I get there early, so if there's any surprises, he's not gonna be surprised. So uh, I guess just wake up every day knowing that it's not gonna be the same as yesterday. Just be ready to work hard. So, you know, when we think about the term resiliency, um, you know, where, what does that mean? That means back, bouncing back to your original form. So if you, if you fall, you fall out of line, right? Or you know, you not you're not yourself for whatever reason. The, the outside influences on you, you know, the ability to get back to where you were. And um, the one quote that I like to that I like to always keep in mind is that everybody's fighting a battle you know nothing about. I'll share a little bit more than I normally would. So I um, I returned from a year in Iraq in 2009, and I went into a really stressful job for three years, and. It was almost like that stress was the same stress as combat looks, right? And so when I, I PCS to a job after that, I didn't have that level of stress. So then my body started to create panic attacks. And I would get into situations where I would embarrass myself because I would have a panic attack just with a little bit of stress. I had no longer ability to control my gait of like stress. Wow. So I went to the clinic and I was put on medicine. And I took this medicine for three years and it, and that, you know, treated the symptom, but never really treated the problem. So then after three years of medicine, and when you're taking medicine, it always kind of takes a little bit off your personality. You don't right. feel like, you feel like you're a little bit in the fog and then you're not really yourself. So then uh, I went to mental health and I said, hey, I don't want to be on this medicine anymore, but I need, but I need, I know I need to go through something. So I went through a program that was called Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. And it was nine months long, but it's really you writing down like what your issues were, the things that you saw, the things that stressed you out, and then you working through those issues. And I'll tell you, I don't take medicine anymore, and I have the ability and the coping skills that when I do come into stressful situations, that I'm able to overcome those. So I think I was, I, I think I was worried about the stigma of going to get help when I probably needed to. And I wish I wouldn't have waited six years <laughs> from like the three years, the three years without the medicine, the three years with the medicine. I wish I didn't wait for any of that. But I mean, I'll tell you that I'm a help, healthier, happier person today because I did do that. If you think you've seen it all, wait until next week.